I like butter. I love butterfly and I love half cards. So it's just my way of being able to meld the two different cards together and open up, you know, the same sweeping options and the same submitting options that I have from both half and uh, butterfly. Okay. Um, now the way I start by getting in my half butterfly, there's so many different ways I can enter it. Right. I can just. If I'm stuck in a knee shield or if I have a knee shield, I can just insert my foot and start playing uh, with uh, that butterfly hook. Or you know, my other entry that I use more often than not is starting from butterfly. Okay. Now, when I start my grip, I start a real, I, my clinch is my, my biggest asset. Okay. Now, um, Oscar. So, when I get my clinch, okay, I get like a, a good seatbelt, right? And when I do my seatbelt, I don't use a gable grip because when I get the gable grip, there's a lot of space between my arms, okay? What I opt for is a butterfly grip, okay? Because one, I, I have bad hands and my wrists hurt all the time and arthritis, I'm old with it. So, don't worry, some of y'all. Young bucks will be feeling pretty soon. So, this is like I'm a product of like almost 30 years of jiu-jitsu, and I'm, I'm a walking train wreck. So, when I start the butter half butterfly, okay, I get a good fight here. Okay, now I have to see that a lot of people would want to drop to the right. Okay, I don't drop to the right. Okay, I drop to my left here, and I get my foot. My left foot is gonna stay hooked on the back of the leg and I'm playing with my right foot inside here, okay? Because what I'm looking to do with this, okay, is use this tight grip and him trying to escape his posture, okay, the, to set up my, uh, my options, okay? So typically, if I'm doing my job, okay, he'll be able to lift his hips, Okay, or he's going to try to scoot straight back. Okay, he's not, it's going to be hard for him to pressure in. Okay, and if he does, he's not going to go very far. Okay, what this, what dropping to my left side also does, it gives me all the shoulder crunch um, options, plus it gives me a bunch of overhook options. Okay, so when I sit here, I get my butterfly, my half butterfly, so I drop here and I hook here. Okay. So what I don't want you to do is sit flat on your back. So if you land flat on your back, hip out and get, get on your side all the way. And I want you to go like cheek to cheek or ear to ear, okay? Because now, like I said, if I were to just go to straight to the shoulder crunch, okay? Because again, everybody, everybody wants to be Gordon Ryan and again, try to sleep with Checha, okay? <laughs> this gives me also the option for the overhook and start playing up here. Make sense? So what I'm gonna do first, okay, since I have the shoulder crunch here, I'm gonna base my game off of his reactions. Now, if you were in my last class, okay, in my clinic about the game planning, I, you don't wanna be the person reacting. But realistically, I pulled the guard, I put him in the guard that I want, so he's reacting to me, right? So he's got one, he's, again, like I said, one of several options, okay? If he lifts his butt, he, he can lift his butt up, right, like so, he can pull away. Uh, uh, down. He could try to scoot back, yeah, like this, make sense? Or he could drive into me, okay? All those options are very viable options, are like typically those options you're gonna find, right? So first, if he starts to bring, if I'm doing my job, I could use my right foot to keep him at bay here. So if he tries to scoot forward, I just extend, right? Then I could go off his reaction when he, if he continues to push, start lifting, right? So now he brings his butt up in the air. Now he's doing that job for me, but I want to keep his foot or the foot between his legs, his head close to my head. My left foot is gonna come 
here on the outside of the thigh. I'm going to scooch my butt up under, and then my, from here, my right leg is going to take him this way, like so. Okay. So I'm essentially going to go for uh, a quick Kani Basami. Okay. So I'm here. Okay. He starts to bring his butt up in the air. Okay. He's really pressuring. My right hand holds. I can scoot, bring my foot in. Okay. Now. Once I get the time going, I start to go for the kani wasabi here. My right arm okay, is going to go from the back. I want to chop this arm down. Okay, I live and go for double trouble from here. Okay, always go for double trouble. Don't ever just isolate your grips to just one leg. You isolate it to one leg, you're going to give him the escape. Okay. So from here, gable grip, always, okay? So this is gonna be the same reaction when he starts pushing into me, okay? Whether he lifts his butt or not. So I'm here, he starts pushing in. You see how he's fighting me? I start lifting, okay? I'm lifting with my leg here, okay? I can start going for my X. I trap this arm, underhook the leg, pull. Sit. Go for that double Make sense? So, first technique, guys, I want you to, uh, first on top, push into them, okay? And lift your hips up, okay? You need to take advantage of that lift or that push and lift this foot up, okay? And then left hand hooks the leg, right hand chops the elbow so we can spin him into the Kani Basami. So again, I'm here. Whoa. Shit. Whoa. Okay. He puts his butt up in the air. He's making my job easier. Scoot. X. Chop. Scoot. Look. Give him grip. And it's really going to both take that leg. Make sense? Scoot my butt under here. Okay, this traps, I lift, catch, look, spin. Okay, see how I'm hooking here? Then my knee comes in behind the knee and I drive both my knees forward. Yeah? Questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're kind of like spinning under them and turning them at the same time. Cool. Let's go fight. One, two, three. I'm treating them like we're playing with like a cat playing with the ball of yarn. You need to be able to balance them on our legs, right? We're spinning them and ourselves at the same time. Okay. So when I'm here, okay. When, he's lifts his, when he lifts his hips up in the air, his weight should be coming forward, okay? So it's almost like he's kind of like cartwheel pass or whatnot over your legs, okay? So from here, I lift and I get this X, okay, on his leg. My hand goes under, lift. Then look, I drop, I let his leg drop and my knee comes behind his leg at the knee and I just roll him over. And the upper district, so I'm getting a cable grip at the side of the knee and I'm rotating his leg, the lower half of his leg out. Make sense? Yeah? Just go play with that, add that detail. So don't forget to spin them, yeah? <laughs> Lift them up, arm chops down, bottom lifts up. 
Nine times out of ten, it could be your partner that okay, isn't giving you the right reaction or the right, okay? Meaning they're not pressuring into you like they should be, okay? Like, like my professor Kyle says, you have to be specific, okay? If you're not specific with your technique, you're not going to get the right reactions, okay? So, for those that are struggling with it, because I want to move on, We'll just do a, uh, just enter the honey hole however you want, or we could just do a, just a leg lift where we go both hands underneath the armpits. We lift here. My right hand comes to the armpit. This comes to the leg. I'm going to switch and go into honey hole. So now we were still we ended up in this position, okay, earlier with that from the half butterfly. What I want to do, okay, I'm not going to attack this leg. Okay, I'm gonna slide to his foot. I'm gonna keep it tight, drive, 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 until I feel the top of his foot on my neck, like so. My right hand is gonna grab the heel. I'm gonna do like a rear naked choke grip. My head is gonna push down on the toes as my arm pulls, okay? Now, if you feel like your partner's not tapping here, switch. <laughs> so, <laughs> Make sense? So again, I'm here, I slide here. My head drops onto the top of the toe or the foot. My hand grabs the heel and I squeeze for like a, almost like a rear naked choke grip. I push my head into the foot. I rotate the heel and start turning my shoulder to the right. Make sense? So you have the two different options, okay? One, the, the half, the entry from the half butterfly, or just from full butterfly, I lift, okay? I need him above my head. My right hand transfers to the armpit, my left hand goes under, okay? I lift, bring my knee through, boom. I slide my foot, my neck to the top of his foot, I grab the heel, rear naked choke grip. I drop my shoulder, I rotate. Okay. You don't need it, do you? I don't. <laughs> Who needs a knee? Questions? All right, let's go. go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. From the half butterfly entry? Yep. Yeah, but really good. Both under your head? Yeah. So you get trouble spinning them? How do you address that? So, lift them up higher. Okay. Yeah, so, that's a good question. So, look, I'm here, right? Hug my head. Look my head. Okay, so I'm here, right? I lift here. Oh. Just lift. See? It's, he's, very, it's, he's having a very difficult time trying to hold my head or keep his balance. He has to either give up on the head to keep his balance or he just gives, it to, gives me the uh, tomanagi or the sumigaishi. Okay, so I'm here, right? I get my hips underneath him here. I lift, okay, hook, make sense? Oh, let's go play, one, two, three. They pressured forward. Okay, he brought his butt up in the air, and we entered the honey hole. Okay, we finished with the uh, Mikey lock inverted or reverse Mikey lock. Okay, this one is more of like a toe hold finish. The Mikey lock's more of a heel hook finish. Okay, but what happens when he starts pulling away? Like I'm really trying to keep him here, keep him down. I want to keep him close to me, but he starts scooting uh, backwards. Yeah, I'm he, keep going, keep going. He's pushing. Okay, I have a shoulder crunch, right? I want to keep this as much, as much as I possibly can, okay? If he's actively pushing off that knee or off that foot to pull himself out, he's going to give me the sweep, okay? So come back. 
So I'm here. He's trying to flat me about attacking, but he's pulling. Here, I'm actively not letting him uh, take it, right? But then he starts to eventually get his head out. Boom. And then I, I pinch my elbows around the shoulder. Lift. And then you go right into the shoulder sweep. Okay, for that shoulder crunch sweep, yeah? S similar, not exactly how Gordon got Buchecha with it. His was more from the butterfly. So, but I hit this one a lot more than any, any other position from here. So I'm going here, I get it tight. He starts pulling away. Okay, he gets his head out. Boom. Still keeping it tight. I lift with my elbow here and my hand. Make one. Make this. Questions? Pretty simple. All right, because I'm going to make it more complicated later. Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three. Right here. Boom. Okay. He starts scooting back. Right? I'm trying to start crunch and stay with him so he doesn't scoot back. Right? So when I, he pulls his head out, okay, he sees this coming. He brushes back in. Scoop this arm over, okay? Because what I'm gonna look for from here is I'm gonna push him away from me. And I'm gonna come up to a floating Z. My right hand is gonna catch his ankle. His ankle. I'm gonna pull towards me, figure four, and then finish with the heel. Okay. So, right? So, again, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. No, stay, stay. Look. And go back again, like a backside 50, backside 50, 50 heel hook. Okay, so, really slowly. That hold, okay? He starts scooting away, disengaging. I follow him, right? So see how I'm starting to follow him? He gets his head out. My right hand goes to the armpit here. Okay? He's here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and bring my butt up in the air. Push, boom. Okay, my right hand grabs, okay, the ankle. The ankle. This hand could hug the, hook, hug the thigh. I pull, bring my foot or my shin behind the, uh, his butt crack. I could either figure, just cross my legs here. I could figure four and lock it on his hips, okay? Either way, just actively squeeze your knees. I grab the heel, pull, okay? Oh. So again, boom. I'm hugging, he's pulling. I'm trying to stay with him. He gets his head out. Boom. Right hand frames on the inside, right? Left hand could come under. Then I, from here, I could still go into the first option that we went for, okay? Lift. Funny hold, come back. Here, don't sit back, sit back. He's sitting back. Get my butt up, grab the ankle. I pull the heel up towards the ceiling. My shin goes down to the butt crack. I figure four, heel, and pull, okay? Always butterfly grip. Don't rely on your wrist. Your wrist will fail you. Your hand will never fail you. Yeah? Ready to play? What's up? <laughs> One more time. God damn it, Z. You see? They're just, they're saying one more time just to make you feel good. You know, so you don't feel bad. Right? So, again, I'm here. Boom. He's pulling. I'm scooting with him. He gets his head out here. Look. Boom. Boom. Scoot. Okay? I'm going to pull myself up and replace that frame with my right arm with my fat ass. Right? My right hand grabs the ankle. I'm going to pull it up. <coughs> Keeping his knee on the floor in front of my chest. Figure four. Boom. Four. Here. Okay. Keep squeezing my knees. Boom. 
If he tries to turn or uh, back step, back step, back step. Go forward. Go forward. <laughs> Make sense? Yes. So when you get on no. Um, <laughs> anybody else? He doesn't count. He left me. He left me for what was it? Ohio. Also, when you spin under, does the knee stay on the ground or do you move underneath? No, it stays on the ground. Yeah. You want to keep it on the ground so when you hold the foot, it, your body, your torso keeps it. So essentially, what I'm looking for is going on horse. What's happening is I bring the foot up and I externally rotate it, which in turn brings his hip towards the floor, right? Now, if I did so from here, my leg keeps this, this leg from coming up, <coughs> moving in the opposite direction when I do this, right? If his knee was off the floor and I tried to do this, he'll extend it and I'll lose the heel hook. Make sense? Yep. But legit, he gives me beef for Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been better if he left for Michigan, that's fine, but it had to be Ohio. All right, let's go play it. One, two, three. But that's, that's if you're on top, that gives you. That's kind of like my. I, I love, like I mentioned earlier, I love leg attacks. I love head attacks. Okay, because again, everyone's going to lead with either or the head or the feet, right? And with playing the half butterfly, okay, again, it protects my feet and it makes it very easy for me to get underneath my opponent. Now, it's just a matter of how well I'm able to manipulate my opponent. Like I'm trying to play, like a cat playing with the ball of the arm. Just try, try to think of that, and that's how I'm trying to spin them. I'm like holding, I'm on my back, I'm holding with both legs and um, hands, okay? All parts of your body, your hands and feet, should be active at all times, okay? Four points of contact, you should always be elevating, just so you can get underneath, yeah? Um, any other questions? Any questions? In the gi, yeah. you do that in the gi? Nope. It's illegal. <laughs> you can't do it in the gi. Like you use the sweeps and stuff like that. That's a sweep. No. Yeah. You can, I'm not saying you can, but I don't. Personally. It doesn't make sense. I, don't, I barely wear a gi. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have like, I have like, like, I have like 60 gis in my garage, and it hasn't moved. <laughs> so... Hey, 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 hey. If you want, if you want to take some of them off my hands and like use them for pajamas, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, use them for pajamas. Cut the sleeves off or something. But anyway, um, thank you guys for coming. Hope you picked up something. You know, I know it's a little advanced. Um, I was going to put advanced, but I wanted a lot of you guys to experience the half butterfly and the leg entries and whatnot. Um, my next class will be on wrestling up, okay, so basically for people that don't like to wrestle. Y'all should like to wrestle, okay? Wrestling's amazing, okay? Um, if you have the age to wrestle, you should be wrestling, okay? But the only time you should be butt scooting is if you're old or your stand-up game sucks in comparison to the person standing across from you. Okay, but always, always should be trying to wrestle. Yeah, but anyways, again, thank you guys so much for coming. Let's uh, go ahead and grab a picture.